All right, I'm going to work through some steps that I want you to do on your own for before Thursday's class. And that way your drawings will be all set and ready to start going on the paper sheets. And we'll do that kind of fairly quickly together. So you'll have time to send it to um, the tech center and get everything printed before break. So that means no homework over break. So uh, these steps are pretty simple, um, but just so everyone can kind of follow along at their own pace, I'm gonna do it slowly like that. Um, on level one, you want to make sure your floor pattern and your dividing lines for your room tags are turned off. I think I caught that for everybody, but just in case, I'm going to show you how to do it here. It'll be the same steps if you see this information also on your floor plan or furniture plan. So you've got to turn all these things off. So the first thing is if you have these room dividers, you're going to click on it, right click and say hide in view category. And now they've disappeared. To get your floor, it's a little bit trickier kind of just to try to hover and get that floor. So have a 3D view open. And in my case, I can get this corner floor here. So I'm gonna click on it so it lights in bl up blue here. Don't click anywhere else yet. Jump over to level one. Somewhere over here and where it's like empty space, right click and say, hide in view category. So now my floor pattern is turned off and I've got my furniture and everything else in here. This is on level one. So leave that be, save that for a minute. Um, over on your floor plan, those lines should also be turned off. So any of those divider lines for your room tags and any of your floor pattern should be turned off. And it's the same process. Mine's already turned off, so I don't wanna go back in and turn it on and off. The next thing we're gonna do to get this plan all ready is we need to crop it. Meaning right now there's kind of a hidden border way over here. So if we were to bring this onto a sheet, actually I can show you a quick what it's gonna look like. So make sure you're at a quarter of an inch. So here's one of our um, sample sheets here. We're gonna edit these a bit in class, but um, I've already laid it out there. So let me delete it, but I'll bring it in so you can see what happens. So if I brought in the floor plan, um, oh, this one's already edited, hold on. That's not a good example. Let me do level one. That's, I think that one is not edited. So let me bring that in. So level one, if I bring it in, Oh, I know I can't do it. Hold on. Let's see. I've got to make a copy of it because it's sort of in a couple of places here. All right. Duplicate with detailing, level one. All right. Back to the sheet. You don't have to do this. This is just to show you what a crop box does. So if we go over to here to level one, I bring it in and it, see how huge it is. It's because this kind of rectangle is sort of an imaginary border right now that exists. And where it puts its room title also connects to that border. So we've got to change that border right now. So the way we do that is we'll first do it in our floor plan. So what it is, is <clears throat> you go down to this little kind of crop box is to the left of the eyeglasses. You click that on, that's going to show your crop region. So right now, this guy's pretty huge. So you're going to pull it in to just outside of your dimensions. And then this will kind of crop it for when we go to put it on the sheets in class. So crop it in terms of like not super tight, give yourself a little bit of white space around your dimensions because then right at the edge here is where it's gonna pop that title for us. So leave that be there. Once you've cropped it, you actually wanna turn it off. So go back to the little light uh, eyeglasses and click to the left of it, that turns it off. It's still there, it's just invisible now. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to level one. So. Level one drawing now should have um, no divider lines, no floor pattern, your furniture is on because in a second we're gonna make this our furniture plan. But we wanna edit the crop box on this also. So we go over to the little light, uh, the little eyeglasses, go to the left, kind of zoom out, crop it in. For now, we're gonna kind of crop it uh, sort of just roughly around it here. And like that, and like that. And we can say, turn that off. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna copy level one to make it our furniture plan. So level one should be bold. You're gonna right click, say duplicate view, duplicate with detailing. That means it's gonna copy your room tags and everything else. And then we're gonna rename that. So where it says level one copy, we're gonna rename. You should say copy one probably. Rename to furniture plan in all caps. Burn, oh, I got to spell it right. Furniture plan. Okay. And now also double check that that's still at a quarter of an inch. If it's not in black and white like this for any of these drawings, you're going to go to this second box in from the left and pick 
hidden frame, that's going to get you this nice black and white. All right. So coming in um, on Thursday, we're going to have a furniture plan. I mean, a floor plan, a furniture plan, and then our ceiling plan is down here. And that's all going to go on our sheets. We're going to quickly together make um, a section through the ceiling. Let me show you here. So for mine, I have a ceiling kind of uh, sort of soffit kind of cove ceiling here. You're going to do some sections through that. So that's going to show me that you did that part of the project. And we're going to also put that on the sheet with our ceiling plan just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Uh, and then together in class on Thursday, we're going to put them on the sheets. It's actually really simple. Revit makes it a lot quicker process than, than Cat did. So that'll be pretty quick to then be able to spit these out on paper. And then next week we can have a little fun and just play around with rendering these pieces too. All right, see you in class on Thursday.